Hey guys, this is my tutorial on how to download like old good games and be able to play them on a Mac because Macs are really hard to do shit on. Like, it took me literally forever to find safe websites to download this shit from and not get viruses. So, um, yeah, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, this is how you'll install like Pokemon and any other video game that, like that any of the old video games on your um Mac so what you'll need for this video is you'll need like open emu and um, I'll leave a link to all of the stuff in the description I'll go through how to do this but um, for example I'll show you like open emu is just a really amazing program that lets you emulate all of these things like like for example you can a Nintendo you can play those you can go to Game Boy you can play those and it works you can double click on that you click yes I'm just having Pokemon right now, so, um, yeah. You might be wondering why there's this Snorlax. It took, there's only two of them in that game, and they're super hard to get, so I just decided to put one in there. I love Snorlax, they're pretty cool. But, um, and they also let you put Pokemon to sleep, which makes it really easy to catch them. But, um, anyways, what you want to do is, um, download this. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll put this away. So it doesn't say you have two of these, and then you don't want to download it, so here we go. We want to go here, and you don't want to go watch Tokyo Ghoul. You want to go, um, you want to go to search up Open MU. You want to go to Open MU. You can do all this stuff. It says do controls. I don't know what that exactly does, because I've never used it. I just use a controller, because controllers make everything easier, especially these old games, because they generally need things like the A, B, Y button and stuff like that. So what you want to do is you want to click download. It'll download. I've tried this twice before. So, um, yeah. So you want to have that downloading. As soon as that's done downloading, you'll want to drag it to your desktop. It helps if you have two desktops, by the way, at least. You want to open it. It'll extract it, expand it. Now you'll have OpenMU downloaded. That's step one. Do you open it? It works. You see you have all these things on it. Personally, I've already downloaded all of these things, so it'll just appear. But um, now what you want to do is you want to go search up the ROM that you want. For example, if you want Pokemon Fire Red ROM, like I just searched up, and then you'll want to just go to any Pokemon Fire Red, not any. Actually, just do it this exact website from Pokemon Fire Red if you don't want to get viruses, because this doesn't give you viruses. It's not on me if you do, though. I've just tried this a few times, and it didn't give me viruses. So you want to click that. You're going to wait for half a minute. See, we highly recommend you use OpenMU, Mac users, so you do do that. You're, if you, I, I am like, <laughs> I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that you are using a Mac, considering that you're watching this tutorial and how to do it on a Mac. If you aren't doing it on a Mac, then why are you watching this tutorial? So, um, yeah, it'll say your download starts, it'll start, download. Um, I have an extra tab there. So you'll want to take it, drag it onto your desktop, you'll want to double click it to open it. It'll be an EXE, well sometimes it won't look like this, sometimes it might look like a little like cartridge thing. But um, you want to click open, then you'll click um, open, you want to right click on it, then click open. Because if you just, actually if you just click this, it'll say unidentified developer. Well they'll usually say like unidentified developer, please, please don't open it. So what you want to do is you want to click open, and click open now, then click open, then since I've already downloaded it, it'll just open it up. See? Works. I've already downloaded Fire Red, so, um, just for the sake of things, um, it'll, it'll, so what you'll usually want to do, you want to right-click on it, click open, then it'll say, are you sure you want to open, then you click open, then open M, will open up, and then Fire Red will be there. So, um, yes, that is what you will want to do, and it's this that simple. You, If you want to download like, any other Pokemon game, this is a good website to do it. It doesn't give you viruses as far as I know, because I've tried this quite a few times. Works with, like, Leaf Green and all those ones. So, yeah, guys, I'll leave the links to all these in the description, and, um, yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching.